Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. This is Amit and in this video we are going to talk about the context and by completing that context you will make an entry for yourself to win these any of these swag which is an SFDC Panther t-shirt, a cap or a coffee or tea mug. So as you all know that we have recently reached a milestone of 15k subscribers. So for that thank you so much. Thank you for showing your love, thank you for showing your support and supporting me throughout this journey. So before we go ahead, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe the video and you'll get the subscribe button on the right of your video and also press that bell icon so that you don't miss any update from the team SFP spam. Now let's quickly start with the context what the context is and also please be with me at the end of this video there are a few more things that i wanted to announce in this video itself so let's quickly start so what you need to do is basically there is a task which is a very simple task you will be given two weeks of time to complete that task and then submit the a small video which is which will be a working video of your task and then i'm going to select top 10 people and uh, those 10 people are going to get the swags from team SFDC Panther. So, first thing that you need to do is just create a Salesforce org. If you don't have, if you already have, you can uh, get a package, which is uh, this is the link that you will get this link from the under the description of this video. So, go there, click on this uh, link here, and this link is going to give you the package installation page basically and where you need to log in and then once you have logged in uh, all the objects which are required to complete this assignment will be installed to your salesforce environment so what are all the objects that are included here is a project a milestone project task project logs and time sync so basically what we are doing is here we are going to develop a very small software for project management for any company it is very crucial to manage a project so that uh, for that we are going to develop a software on top of salesforce environment how a company can manage a project including the task the project logs milestone their time sheets all those things are there so this is the problem problem number one which is must need to have in order to make an entry in the context so here is the problem number one which is saying that you need to develop a lightning web component that will be sitting on the project record detail page and what it will have is when user in uh, when user select any task it should display all the time sheet entries related to ta uh, that task which are in editable form so basically it is a kind of uh, a data table which is editable where user can go ahead and make their changes and only the current week time sheet should be editable and the uh, previous week and the coming week time sheet should be disabled so if you are in the week if you are in the week 3 of your month then the time sheet whatever you have got the like the table the only time sheet will be editable if you go to week, previous week by clicking on a button previous then it should be Showing the time sheet, but in the disabled mode, if you are clicking on next, it should be showing the time sheet with the zero numbers of hours in a disabled mode. Then that there should be only one time sheet for a week, every developer under a single task. So if you have more than one developer working on the same task, then every developer will have their own separate time sheet, but only one time sheet for a single task. That means you need to put a validation over here. If you are trying to create more than one time sheet, there should be an error like you cannot create the time sheet. Then here, when a user modified or added new hours after clicking on update or a create, it should make the necessary changes into the time sheet related to the task. What it is is like you are adding a number of hours, it should roll up to the task saying that these are the number of actual hours that developer has worked on this task. I will show you what are all the, how the UI is going to look like and all those things which are there. 
Then we have got number five. When the timesheet entry is created into the system, then the sum of all these working must be reflected. That's what we have just discussed over here on the line number uh, point number five and uh, four and point number five. Then all the timesheet hours worked must be rolled up to the actual hour for the related task. We, this is also we have discussed. While creating the timesheet entry record, is, it must associate the related project and milestone. I'll show you this as well. And then all the classes, all the test, uh, triggers that you are developing, it must have a, at least a minimum of 85% of code coverage. You don't need to give me the code. You just need to record a video. Show me the functionality it is working or not. Then show me the code coverage of all your classes. It should be showing as 85 above, and that's it. You don't need to worry about the code like you are giving, uh, developing a functionality and sharing the code with me. That's not the case. Just develop it for your practice purpose. Keep it in your org. No need to share the code with me. I have already developed this functionality for my use. Then we have got problem two and problem three as well. These are good to have, not mandatory, but this is the mandate requirement for this context. So this is again it is saying that this is the optional part of assignment but good to have if you are having this functionality then the chances of meaning the context are more. So here you will say uh, this is saying what you need to do is uh, it is saying that uh, create a lightning dashboard that will tell us the status of a project add the dashboard to the project record page. So basically it is very simple lightning is standard dashboard that you need to develop what it need to have it need to have these reports, project milestone status, task by owners, work due task, project task estimated hours versus actual hours. So these are the four reports which should be sitting inside the project record detail page under a single dashboard, not the different reports under a single dashboard. Then we again have got problem three, which is again saying that good to have. A developer lightning web component that displays all the tasks for the login user in the form of a calendar you can take hello to this blog post and then you can add that component to the home page also give the ability to select the projects as well how it is going to look like is if you wanted to develop the functionality you need to find out all the tasks related to the user display in a calendar and then also give a drop down so all the projects the user uh, all the projects that are uh, there and then if uh, the user selects any projects then the calendar should be filtered based on the selected project so it is saying that prepare an unmanaged package that contains the component which you have developed don't include the component from the above package you can ignore this part if you wanted to share the code for me to review and provide you the feedback please feel free to do that if you are uh, hesitant to share the code uh, with uh, you uh, like by keeping in mind i can use it please don't worry about that don't share that that so completely depends upon you if you wanted to share share it if you don't want it to share don't share it all i need is the working video if you are still confused about the requirement or any point just Shoot me an email here and I will definitely email you. Okay. Now, once you click on next here, once you have completed the requirement, now what you need to do is you need to make an entry for yourself. Say whatever your first name is, last name is, what is your email, what is your phone. Make sure that you are putting the values for first name and last name because if you don't, your entry will mark as invalid. Okay. So suppose that I am putting and here I am saying that Amit Singh, sfdcpanther at the red gmail.com and please put a valid phone number over here and then click on next. Once you click on next, what it is going to do is it is going to see, uh, give you the solution description. Here you need to provide the approach that you have followed, the brief description you can give me the here. I will say that simple. Okay. Then click on next. Here it will ask you the GitHub URL for your uh, code repository. If you don't want to share, just put the URL for your uh, YouTube video that you have. I'm just going to paste this, the YouTube video URL. Unmanaged package, if you wanted to give, 
otherwise just put the youtube video link profile url this can be your linkedin profile url or trailer profile url i will prefer provide your linkedin profile url here then click on next as soon as you will see next you will see this message it will say that thank you for submitting the response please stay tuned for the further update so this is this is going to be the last screen the thank you uh, thank you screen so that is about your uh, context okay now you have got the idea about the context let's quickly see how it is going to look like inside your salesforce environment once you have uh, installed this unmanaged package so you might get this application which is project management if you don't get no need to worry about that you can create you already know that what are all the objects are there you can create the tabs if the tabs are not there if not if if the tabs are already there you don't need to worry about that so this is the project here let me quickly show you so you have got the project so you might want it to create a project record here so i'll say uh, let me click on new button over here once you click new here you will say what, what is the name i'll say 15k special then kick off date let me select two days date status is active uh, you can say a deadline if you wanted to have some deadline and i'll say that hello and save it once you will save this project record you will see here this is the detail go to the related section you will you will have files if you wanted to upload the files related to projects you can create the milestone because we know every project has a milestone so let's say that uh, a uh, document requirement the status is created you can say end date we wanted to have the document requirement if you have some parent milestone if this is a child milestone you can select parent milestone start date is again of two days if we have some successor milestone that means uh, uh, which is uh, running parallel to this milestone you can have that and then save it now we have got the milestone under the 15k special project under milestones we will have the task if you go here we have got project task you have got project logs so you can just go ahead and create project task you will say that uh, meet with client or you you can say that anything what whatever the task is okay and this is your milestone uh, the user is assigned to estimated hours i can say 12 due date is this one and actual hours are the hours which will be rolled up from the project time sheet so just go ahead and save it once you will save it the project will automatically be populated because there is a flow behind the scene which is running now under this project task you will see there is a time sheet you just need to click on new now this time sheet should be created by your lightning web component which will be sitting over here or you can create a tab saying that time sheet you can add your lightning web component over here display the information like this and all this information should be uh, like editable so what are all the information is there so if you go here so you say here project whatever the project we have got let's say 15k special it is week week 1 milestone you can select documents requirement then hours work let's say that 1 hour these are the hours work so let's say that you said 100 okay how many hours you have worked on monday you have worked on tuesday you have worked on wednesday and like that you can just put your okay here now you have got all these things just save it So these are all the information about the time sheets. But this again, this new button should not be used for creating a time sheet. Now, once you have got a time sheet for week one, if I try to create a new, you will be getting that error saying that you cannot create a time sheet for the same week for the same user. Because if you create, uh, if you go to meeting here, um, if you go to the time sheet uh, details section, you will see created by. So the same user cannot create the time sheet twice. Okay, so that is how your time sheet task is going to look like. 
then the additional task that you have got so once you have entered the time sheet into the meetings of uh, into the task you can see here actual hours so all these hours are going to rolled up like must roll up to this field which is actual hours so whenever you are creating or updating this field should also be creating and updating okay now let's talk about the full calendar so you can add a calendar over here or you can add the calendar at the home page where they will display all the tasks related to the particular user who is logged in so a filter like a pick list which will so that uh, display the name of all the project and once the user selects any project the calendar should be modified okay so that's what you need to do and this is about the task and the timelines that are like uh, you will be getting two weeks time from monday onwards this is saturday when i'm recording the video so from monday you will get two weeks and after two weeks whatever the information or whatever the assessments i am receiving uh, based on those i am going to basically make an announcement of all the winners and i will ask the further information what uh, what is the shipping address and all those so there is an object called context or uh, not content i have created a context basically uh, where i'll be storing all those details and then i'll be reaching out to you guys so this is about uh, my first uh, part which is 15k special and again uh, thank you for uh, making me like uh, well, thank you for believing in me and uh, be uh, being with me throughout the journey the next thing is that i'm planning to have some problem discussions over my channel so what i want is like if you have some huge case you want me to record a video so you can share that use case to me on the same email which is sfdcpanther at the red gmail dot com or you can comment that you have a use case you are interested and I am definitely going to ping you my email you can send me that what I am going to do is I am going to give you the I am going to analyze analyze the problem provide you the multiple solutions and we will also discuss which solution can be the optimal and then you can implement that solution basically i'm not going to write the code for that i'm not going to implement that but i'm going to uh, discuss the problem statement i'm going to discuss the solution the pop, uh, possible solution statements and then we are going to just compare those solutions and which solution can be the optimal that we are going to discuss over there so this is it for this video and again thank you all the best for the context and hope to get the maximum number of entries over here and uh, please do like share subscribe the video and i'm waiting for 20k specials there will be something very exciting things that you can expect from the team at Panther. thank you guys and uh, we'll meet you into the next videos